Let's go through uh, some some of what's been going on. The state of play happened. It did, and uh, we touched on a lot of the big shit. But you know, um, let's talk about Maximum Kojumbo. I mean, like, like can we? The like, only way I can possibly describe it. Like we can da <laughs> we can dance around all the other shit, but at the end of the day, fucking <sighs> Death Stranding two on the beach. I, I believe out loud the utterance was, I'm going to be decoding this man's bullshit for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> this is it. This is life now. From I Remember the time when we were looking at the Death Stranding imagery with the five yeah. floating figures now yeah. that we now know are the extinction events and trying to figure out what any of anything meant? We now know exactly what that world is. We now know exactly how the mechanics work, what the <laughs> systems are, who the players involved are, and what is left to do, and we still can't figure out why that mask is f***ing hands, and why that f why why uh, Higgs is, is the Joker now. <laughs> well, I, so <laughs> I don't know? know if you saw, but I went and dug up an old drill tweet that was, I remove... I remove my, I'm in court and I remove my anonymous V mask and I have the Joker makeup underneath it and everyone groans at my bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. And I know people Perfect. are saying that like it looks like more like the crow, but like it's absolutely like Sting uh, pulling his mask off to have Sting face paint underneath all of the, the jonkler. All of shit. the above, you know. Um, I just, it's, and he's doing it and he's, he's, you know, he's, he's baking it up. Um, and then he pulls out his fucking electric guitar, rocket red billy, red rocket Cadillac red billy, like the fuck, like just, you know, whether you want to go with your, 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 um, gun grave or Hibiki or hi-fi rush or ele any electric guitar wielding FLCL ass weapon. And he's using that thing and then sliding around against a, a Raiden like and so man like, there's a real there's a real pivot here that I think is really, really interesting for the Never. Kajumbo career. Which is like we went through Metal Gear, which started at an attempt to be grounded. Right? Metal Gear won. And that was the most impressive thing about it. Right. Was how grounded it was. Yes. And I don't mean Metal Gear Solid. I mean Metal Gear 1. And and then 2 Solid Snake. Yeah. And then 2. Mm -hmm. And then Metal Gear Solid like redoes it. And so it's got some magic. It's got some psychics, right? And like each element of Metal Gear gets like zanier and zanier. And then you've got like man made of bees. And then you've got like nano machines and shit like that. And then you get to MGS5, which like it's not it's still fucking magic nonsense but like they it's it's it toned it down but the, a but, little bit but i think the, the fact that the container of the magic bees and the angry flaming skull is like the cold war is like oh well this is a mature subject that like no games don't tend to get into the political atmosphere of what was happening oh at the God. time so you can pretend to have a semblance of seriousness while right. having a uh, uh, fucking crazy bee man and the spinning guns to deflect the bees right you know? so then then we get you know we get away from that and then we go okay death stranding now death stranding was obviously from its start overtly supernatural mm -hmm. right but and despite the 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 kojumbo -ness of it like those first couple of trailers were like barren landscape baby thing ghosts it was like a little bit more subdued and then eventually we got oh we have ghost soldiers mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then as we got closer zanier and zanier and now we're playing death stranding and it is actually fairly subdued for large portions of the game like most of that game is like hoofing it yeah, I, I I remember I remember the period where we knew that we, it was post apocalyptic, and we knew that it was kind of like solemn, and that there was some kind of unknown, un weird, uh, unknowable threat. But um, it wasn't even clear that it was a game about carrying boxes. Right. But now we have Death Stranding too, where you know that Death Stranding is a zany world with supernatural nonsense, and we've gone from I'm going to try and play it classy, and subdued, and Hollywood, to uh, too much is never enough. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> like, like mm-hmm. Death Stranding trailers were like, what's going on? What could, what could that be? And instead, Death Stranding 2's trailer, you're, what the fuck is that? Th- what is that? No, what is that? What is that? What is that? And what, what is that? And what has never been more apparent, and we, we've <laughs> known this for our entire lives, it doesn't matter what the actual context is, even when you find it out. It's all about that. Did you like it when you saw the hands as the mask? Did you like it when you saw the oh, pores hey, I have a, lead I have to a, the ink squirting I have out? I a genuine answer for one of your questions as to why uh, Fragile has the a second hand hands. mask. Mm-hmm. It's because they're called second hands. Second hands, yeah. And that makes it cool when you smoke. Yes, sure. With your second hand Great. smoke. Great, totally. So and-, and also, also it means that you can have her do a hear no evil, see no evil, speak, speak no, no evil. evil. No, we're the three monkeys. Yes, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the context is. When you see the thing and you go, "Oh my god, that is so cool or crazy." What is that? That's all he wants. That's all he yeah. wants is that moment. He wants you to it's look. Like, hey, he wants you to see what? the man floating into the sky and then needing to stab himself and then the giant unknown, the titan in the background, and you go, ah, and that's it. Okay, that's all he one. wants. Here's one. Here's one. Here's mm-hmm. one. You ready? You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Guitar as a weapon, right? It's an axe because guitars are axes. Of course. Right? Yes. But it's an electric guitar. That's correct. So it shoots electricity. Yes. But when it shoots electricity, what should, our, what should our character play? Well, you see, he's from America, so he should play the American national anthem when he shoots the electricity from his America guitar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Correct. And also... Also, here's here's a, a fun part. Um, he has uh, Amelie's face and hair. Does he? He does. Huh, I didn't catch that. So he's probably inhabiting her corpse, which means he literally is America. Because, and that's how he survived the beach. Yeah. By... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the necklace as well. I didn't. Yeah, I, yeah the kipu. Okay, I didn't catch those details. Yeah, I know the deep dive that people must have done. I didn't. I didn't go into the deep dives for sure. Because and that's you know, why. Oh my god! When he walks up to you in his in his Troy uh, Baker thick Texan accent and goes, "You get enough guns, you can control everything, same as it ever was," and does a little dance because he's the avatar of America as villain. With joke with Jonkler, with Jonkler. Yeah, makeup. yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Um, and you are no longer in America, mind you. Your job is to now connect the network outside of the which UCA. they imply. Um, so you see a desert, and they talk about uh, like outside of the states. So we're probably going to Mexico at the very least, maybe Canada, maybe. God damn it! I forgot about that, Emily. Car bullshit with the hide the car. <laughs> oh, you forgot, huh? For a second, I was like, I, read, I was like, yes, Emily versus um President Bridget Strand, fucking hide car, and the car is like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, god, fuck. All right, sorry. <laughs> Just and like, I, it's really funny because mm-hmm. like they even go, they even go, he even goes to the point of like looking at Sam. And like it's it's always wild to me when like the game's like theme on the document is said aloud by a character. So when Troy goes, looks like you traded in that rope for a stick. I'm like, it's just it's just out there on the page. Death Stranding Two is not about the rope; it's about the rope and the stick. There, that's it. As the stick is in the walk with a big stick? No. Wooly. No. Come on. The first tool 
humans made was the stick mm -hmm. to keep things away and protect themselves. Mm -hmm. The second tool humans made mm -hmm. was the rope in order to bring things to them and protect them. Okay. Okay. So Death Stranding 1's ending, like mm -hmm. the ending, like the core thing you have to do, is you have to choose the rope over the stick. Okay. To bring and Death Stranding to 2 says instead no. Of keeping things away. Now it is time for the fucking stick. Man, yeah, okay. I yeah, I forgot. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. Come isn't on, there? there's a fucking lot, all right? I remember Doom. Did you know I that tar contains DNA so that when you smoke a cigarette, you're actually <laughs> puffing ghosts? God. Ugh. Uh, okay, hold on. The, I need the, the, I need to find something out. And 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 uh, yeah. The, and the extinction event and the doom's powers and and cliff unger okay and die the hard first, men the first one that i can find so this might just be a happy coincidence because i doubt in april of 2023 kojumbo watched dracula flow and was like i need to in, i need to integrate this into the death stranding I, I, I somehow doubt. <laughs> I somehow doubt that you don't know that, <laughs> but you can doubt. <laughs> I mean, unless unless Norman takes a big puff and talks about how that OG Kush has him speak in Esperanto, <laughs> <laughs> and one or two things about Black China. I don't. I don't know that Kojima Kojima has watched uh, uh, Dracula Flow. <laughs> oh man. Um. Hey. Yo. Uh. You know what's cool? And actually, the thing that the what of all the bullshit happening that's the Kojima shit going on or whatever. The only thing I really am like, there's Lou. Lou's grown up a little bit. Lou's a little older. You know. That's Are you sure? No, but may probably because like part of the trailer was re read uh, was Norman. Sorry, Sam going like Lou is dead. So then what were we looking at? I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing, Wooly. Norman Reedus of formerly Funky Fetus says, are you the one who killed Lou? And then Mr. America Troy Baker goes, oh, you don't even know, do you? And then immediately gets attacked by a gigantic cyborg ninja making baby noises. Okay. Well, so then maybe we I have a sneaking suspicion. We saw some bullshit. I have a sneaking suspicion that the newest of the cyborg ninja gang by Kojima Productions <sighs> is in fact a one-year-old infant. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, well, how will you fucking sense the BTs now? How, how will you... Avoid, Probably some bullshit. How will you avoid the void? Probably out? some stupid bullshit, I bet. Um, so Willie, that first cutscene is so baffling. Me and Paige are watching it. And we're like, why are they blue? Are they ghosts in this <laughs> scene? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I'm... I'm, and I'm I'm thinking it's their their virtual, but the yeah yeah. Um, well, all that aside, can't wait to just do some basic trucking. For all the what the fuck are we have? Oh my god! For all the mind fuckery afoot, you were gonna drive some trucks and build some roads, and occasionally slide on a. They showed off a really a huge variety of environments in that trailer. Mountains. There and is deserts. a lot more trucking to be done mm -hmm. terraforming almost um yeah and i guess like well the, the the and this is the way i felt after the last game is that like the story of uh what i guess we'll, we could just call the america family <laughs> you yeah know, is it felt so complete because you got every angle you needed from um, the ha and the ka, and then you got everything you needed from uh, Cliff and 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 Mom and um, and Sam and like BB 
and it, it all just kind of was like a very like it all the the way this world turned out was directly tied to you yeah and and then you got to the end and die hard man did his die hard man shit and you were like wow right and it closed off you closed off the end of it due to you as well so i don't know how much i mean I, kojima will just find some some more bullshit there is something to, about to the game there is something about the game's plot and and setting that actually is a much like it's a much more reasonable transition from the old story to the new than I would have expected, which is there's a line of dialogue and you see a bunch of them in the thing, which is okay. They put it. You remember they put out that DLC that had a lot more gunplay and was a lot more like Metal Gear. Oh, okay, okay. There was an update. Yeah, there was an update. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, th there's there's more guns in this shit. Like Sam's got like a gun and he walks into the gun room and you see a bunch of fucking guns mm -hmm. like assault rifles and shotguns on the wall. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, gun shooting guns was like a, a absolute dead ass last resort in death stranding. But here like, oh, okay. So how, how do they get away with it? Is they go, well, why the fuck would there be people out there and, and Porter just get robots to do it, man. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like why the hell would you have like human beings traversing these distances? There's more important shit to do, and we can already cover that ground with the robots. Yeah. And also, I can you can just shoot a robot. And you want anti BT weapons more than you want fucking just anti human yeah. weapons, really? Um. Yeah. Uh. But but no. So what I was trying to say, I guess, is that like. At the end of, like, Metal Gear Solid 1, you're like, oh, wow, cool game, more to this story, but... There were some ghosts, and there was that psychic guy. Shit happened. But, and, like, it and, was about nukes and mm -hmm. sneaking around. Uh, end of Metal Gear 2, you're like, whoa, the future fucking sucks. <laughs> Can't wait for it. Um, but also, you know, there's a new generation that, that is... That is coming up and they they're can, gonna have their own they're gonna have their own problems and they're gonna have to solve them themselves and you know we can only guide you so much but enough of us old men trying to tell the future what to do um and then you beat three and it like kind of just goes all the way back to the past and you're like that's why those old men were trying to tell you what to do they had their reasons and they were good reasons also here's exactly who those old men were you know like we're just yeah and you line up all the shots to, to complete the timeline and then you get to four and you're well, like i don't know how to end this story but my point but like <laughs> you hit the end of the timeline in three and then it says the start of les enfants terribles and yeah, then yeah, you're yeah. like and we're done and we're complete and i feel and it's not that there isn't more to tell but i'm i i felt that the way i felt at the end of snake eater was the way death stranding ended in a way yeah you know? no i got you right it all it was all wrapped up in a neat little package. Very, very well like, wrapped up. <laughs> like, and here's the thing. We talked about this at length before it came out, which is the whole game of Death Stranding looked like Kojima, like hoodwinked Sony. Because the, it was like it was like some weird ass indie idea for a game that was as weird as it could possibly go, that was given the most budget of anything ever. And you're like, oh, you know, this is going to do like dog shit. It's too weird. It's too boring. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. But the game is written like I'm never going to get to make another one of these. Like this is this is probably going to be the only Death Stranding that if, ever exists. If I get to one and done, I'm saying everything I wanted to say. And I'm talking about gourds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. He and two is like, I can't believe they're letting me make another one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kojima is, after all, half man, half clout right yeah he is he is the walking embodiment of it um and the fact that he then ends that bit zooming out on a goddamn hollywood set to show you that i have arrived i am here in my final destination i'm surprised he didn't just fade away well you see woolly that <laughs> hollywood set wasn't actually about death stranding no it was about fizz int because it's not just Microsoft that's going to get their own little thing with OD, but Sony's going to get their own um, um, sneaking action game. Oh, uh, what, a, a sneaking espionage action game? How many people work at Koji <laughs> Pro? 
can they have? I guess they have the budget if given to fucking do whatever. Well, I think I think OD and sneaky action espionage game is very far away. Because the idea of like a second major title on the scale of the way Death Stranding was built is nuts. But now we have the idea of three. I'm like, oh my god! Like you know, we've seen a lot of spiritual successors and stuff like that. But it is still kind of astonishing at like the audacity of a guy who went, I am so sick of making Metal Gear games <laughs> for like 20 years. Oh, God. Get out and do Death Stranding, Fuck. which is kind of like Metal Gear. And he and said, and many times <laughs> I have many more ideas. And then essentially go back to Kettle Deer <laughs> or Settle Near. Oh god, he he did. He's like, I have all these other things. I have stuff I want to do. It can't just be about this creative. And he had he had Death Stranding, and he had OD <laughs> or PT. He had PT. And then somebody walked up to him with a check with a bunch of zeros on it and said, "Hey man, what, what else about, you got? What about a soldier <laughs> who sneaks around and fights a super powered team of people? Or or it was like, hey." What else you got? You did your Death Stranding, and here's your two. You did your PT, and here's your OD. What else you got going on? And he's like, uh, uh, and just like fucking. So I, I like, I like man. to think, <laughs> like, I like to think he sweat. looked at Sony Man and Swip, said, flipping through the cards like that Raven. Do you have any handhelds coming out where I can make you a game where you, you go outside to use the sun <laughs> to fight vampires? And they were like, no, we don't have any handhelds coming out. Shit. The beat is done. Fuck. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, come and knock on our door. Da -da 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 -da. Come and knock on our door. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Great. Great. Um, will... Who will be cast as our leading uh, 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 espionage spy man? Will it be Timothy Chalamet? Uh, uh, will it be any of the people that have rolled through the, the and proposed with Ludens over the years? If they want to go absolutely gonzo, batshit, disrespectful, it should be Kurt Russell. <sighs> Actual Kurt Russell. Yeah. The, the man himself. <laughs> <laughs> like just at, like yeah, just that is, yeah, no, thumb in the eye. Open op, drop trow, open ass dump right on everything. <laughs> right on everything Kojima um, um Konami could hope for. That's that's yeah, that is the ultimate. What are you gonna say? It's him. It's his face. It is it is it is in fact Kurt Russell. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Or, now, granted, or, Kurt Russell did turn down the voice of Snake in the past. Sure, but that was in the past before Kojima was friends with Totoro san and Mads Mikkelsen yeah. and fucking everyone else before he was in. Now he's in. He's got someone. I bet you he has the cell phone number. You know, he's just waiting to form the right text to send. So somebody in the chat pointed Kurt out something really interesting. So Kurt Russell declined because he because John Carpenter wasn't involved and he thought that was kind of disrespectful. I see. Right? I see. So in order to get Kurt Russell in on a project, you would need to get John Carpenter in on a project. And John Carpenter famously doesn't give a fuck about anything other than smoking weed, playing Xbox, and making money. Makes sense. Checks out. Okay. Sounds good. But John Carpenter fucking plays video games all day. Hmm. That's that's what he does. He get, he's he's a famous Hollywood director. Hell yeah! And he's gone to the place in his life. He's old. All he does all day is smoke weed and play video games. Eat so if ship. Kojima was like John Carpenter, do you want to work on this fucking thing with me? He would probably say There's yes. There's a possibility. There is a possible. Okay, okay, I like that. Those are good odds. You now, know how like fucking George Miller is right there in their fucking ship. And look, and if, pulling out ghosts out of the ocean. And if worse comes to worse and he can't get that hookup, then he could always again, now that he's in, now that Kojima's in, he could just be like, "Hey, yo, Drake, can you talk to Kurt for me?" <laughs> and Drake's like, "Yeah, man, I got you." <laughs> and that's it. And he's in. 
He's got all the fucking, he's got the Rolodex spinning. He's just, oh God. Um, not to mention the movie as well. They intro they they uh, announced the the Fizz Int movie alongside the the project that is the game, which is not the Death Stranding movie, which is also a project going. Let's on. just take it one step at a time, okay? No, Kishima. eighteen steps at a time. You can't stop me. Doing it all. He's celebrating his fortieth year in the video game industry. <laughs> He's, uh Anyway, God bless. I I um. Whatever the fuck is happening. Can't think I can't think of another creator in any medium that has spent their whole career sitting on the dividing line between unmitigated genius and complete embarrassing hack shit. <laughs> like just and I just think it's and, teetering and, between the two for decades. And I, I think the reason why is because the from the first day he walked into video games, he went, ugh, they're not movies. <laughs> and, that, and he carried that energy for 40 years. For 40 I, I, years, those, he went, yeah, but they're not movies, though. <laughs> it's one of those things where you talk about, like, you know, uh, video game devs have a have a inferiority complex to film and you'll see even now devs will be like oh man we made it so much we just worked so hard on the cutscenes. it's like an incredible film blah 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 and like you get this feeling from last of us that like the tv show was actually what they really wanted the, the whole time mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and that okay. making a video game right. was like kind of beneath them and kojima is been saying Dude, I love movies so much. Everything should be like movies. And then no. makes the most interesting games with the weirdest game stuff in them. That's nothing like movies. And, and, but but he but like yes, and he yes, he loves games, but he's bringing as much Hollywood as he can with him and cramming it into like, video I don't games. Think, I don't think Kojima loves movies. I think he loves the movie industry. <laughs> that could be it. That, like you know how like how could, talking yeah. about Power World yeah. is in some ways more fun than Power World. Actual Power World, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not about the film; it's about the table read. He wants to be at the goddamn table read. Absolutely. Like I, I would not be surprised if it comes out like in fifteen years. Like, hey, uh, uh, Mr. Kojima, what's your favorite part? of making video games and he goes i love it when we're doing the auditions for the actors <laughs> and they come in and they do the they 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 act and i'm like oh oh that's my favorite actor from a kid tarantino movie oh yay I, I mean dude you, <laughs> you know that him just hanging out with guillermo and talking was all he wanted out of that and the fact that they were he showed up as a cameo is just to make some official reason for those hangouts to it. Oh, yeah, it's like, hey, I really loved Mad Max. George Miller, do you want to hang out and get scanned into my video game? You know, it's like, hey, do you want to hey, be... Guillermo, did, 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 Guillermo hey. did you have a movie that won an Oscar with Pinocchio? That, I, you're right, Pinocchio is cool. <laughs> I'll put a fucking puppet in my game. Do you want to be friends? I mean, do you want to work on this project that I think you would find very interesting? What's it about? What do you, what do you want it to be about? <laughs> What do you what do you like? <laughs> Hideo Kojima uh, is 40 years uh, of a film nerd looking over his thick rim glasses as he slowly pushes a piece of paper across the desk and Guillermo del Toro or George Miller opens it up and it goes, do you like me? <laughs> yes, no. Kojima is at <laughs> Kojima is at Anime North going, "Hey, can I interview you?" And then you're and then Hollywood's like, "Sure." And then you meet and it's like, "Hey, so how's it going? What's up?" I I got you this gunblade. Would you like Well, <laughs> to bring like it this? <laughs> to bring it to a more recent point, Wooly, it's actually like Oh my god, that's that's Guillermo del Toro. <sighs> I should say hi. Hey, Guillermo, I'm really a big fan of your work. Oh, thanks. You know, I um, I I I make video games. That's cool, man. No, no, it's like my job. <laughs> I make video games. I'm 
I'm a, I'm a creator too. You don't understand. <laughs> they're like they're like movies, you know. <laughs> that's that's cool. <laughs> Uh, and he made and and just like that, on the podcast, he made it. Yeah, he made it. He's in Hollywood. Incredible. Forty years, what it a legacy! Really says a lot that like this this like Japanese nerd, this guy who's all the way on the other side of the planet, who's an unhinged Amerabu, mm-hmm. right? I'm a director like, too. <laughs> like. Just fucking, I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't speak English, I can't act. How am I going to fucking hang out with Hollywood celebrities? I don't know. And he just fucking clawed his ass for decades. And now he's there. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm I just, uh, I will, I will root forever. It's like, this is, this is, this is what Jeff is trying to protect, right? This is what Keeley sees and and has sworn his life just, to defend. <laughs> I just I just had the flash in my mind of 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 like teenage Hideo wearing his fucking faux silk SpongeBob shirt telling somebody how fucking stupid they are for watching King of the Hill with with the dub. <laughs> just Japanese Boomhauer just isn't the same. You don't same. understand. It's not the same. You, 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 you. <laughs> the, vo- the, the intent behind the original cast's voice acting is the most important part of King of the Hill. <laughs> What was Judge's vision? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. All right.